Okay, we're back on the dock with the Euro Tele Rods, or the Chinese copies of Euro Tele Rods. And I've decided I'm going to keep the two Sugi Langs, and I'm going to show you why real quick. Yeah, this is the 2.7 meter, which is just about 9 foot. I think it's like 8 foot something. And you can see it will telescope down into a really small package. I've got 20 pound braid on there and that's just a good throw in a bag bank fishing rod. This one is 2.1 meters and that's a little over seven foot. And this one's actually got a fast enough action. You can see that's nice and sensitive and stiff that you can probably do some spin fishing with it. So I'm gonna leave this one out and I think I'm gonna tie on a plastic or something and just bounce it around the dock a little bit, see how it fishes, hopefully catch something. And I've got that Plusino, which I actually ordered two of them. So I'm gonna go put line on the other one and I'm gonna rig them both up and I'm gonna put them out because I really wanna catch something on it. Now, it's got such a slow, non-responsive tip you can't feel anything but i can see it being really applicable for micro fishing um sight micro fishing um especially something with a float and the reason being is once again this extreme compact size so i might put a micro reel on it and use this as a little backpack specific micro fishing rod. Let's see if Billy has anything for us today. No, not yet. Most of the canoes and kayaks have been set up and organized. No thanks to me. Laura did all that 100%. This is why I love these little Plusinos. Well, this is one thing I love about them. Um, it's how small they are. And I think if I downsize to a micro series reel, this could be very, very applicable for float and sight fishing of micro species. What up, y'all? I've got not everything out, but I've got four rods back out. I've got the 2.7 Sugi Lang. I've got the 2.1 Sugi Lang, and I'm gonna keep those as travel rods specifically for bank fishing bait at night and whatnot. I've got the six foot Plusino and I've got the six six Plusino because I like how compact they are, but I wanna see how they handle a fish. And of course I'm using corn again because corn is the only thing that produced in like two days. So I'm gonna leave these rods out. I'm gonna take y'all up front and I'll show you what I got cooking. Okay, I'll show you what I got cooking. Here is Vanny Hagar, covered in all the pollen, and I need to give her a good washing, but I'm not going to because the trees are still putting this pollen out like crazy. Well, these are the T-slot bars I got because Laura and I decided we're going to ditch the kayak racks, install the T-slot bars, put a cargo box on top, and then we're going to put an awning on the side. We're actually going to do quite a heavy retrofit or refit, I guess, of the van. Not necessarily turn it into a camper, but turn it into a road trip specific vehicle. And right now we are in dire need of tires. The tires that are on the 2005s are an odd size. They're difficult to find and they're really expensive. So we're going upsize in tires a little bit, something that's common, easy to find and cheap. And we're going to put probably a three inch lift kit on it for extra road clearance when we're driving dirt roads to fishing and hunting spots and whatnot. And I'm sure we're going to do a whole video series on it. I might even start that tonight. There's one of my little crabs. And he is in this absolutely filthy African cichlid tank. There's a couple of babies in there. You can see the blue ones. This is just a bunch of guppies snails oh yeah yeah it definitely 
Now that's that super ultra light, really, really like wet noodle rod. It's the first fish on it. Let's see how it does. Is he coming? It's a turtle. Oh, turtle. Okay, let me grab a net. We were robbed on how many? Well, we haven't checked one. Two out of three so far. Um, well, we haven't caught a fish on that rod yet. No. How was the turtle? <laughs> how, how did the turtle feel on that rod? I mean, it felt like you could handle it. Okay, okay. I can't speak for a fish, but it's yeah. like, okay, if you're going for turtles, I guess. It looked like it handled that turtle just fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it handled the turtle very well. <laughs> That's right, I'm filming you, cat. Are you going to clean Mr. Wiggle's ears? Kitty is absolutely disgusting. And she will dive her whole snout into Mr. Wiggle's ears. And she will lick out every little whatever ear boogies, I guess, are in there. And she eats them. And she's really, really proud of herself. And she'll do it as we're trying to go to sleep. And it is one of the most disgusting noises you've ever heard in your friggin' life. Wiggles enjoys it. Tell everyone in YouTube world what you're doing. Pumping my boat out. I let it fill up with water. Maybe I'm not really a tiny boat expert, but... <laughs> Looks like you haven't pumped it out in a little while. I lost my pump. I couldn't find it. Somebody put it in one of these mini chests on the dock. And I opened them all up and I looked. I'm gonna say it was a kayaker. You know what? That's a pretty good theory. But yeah, my pump is lost for since last season. I found it when the kayakers came the other day, so. Cool? No? Well, I'll haul that out, we'll get it all cleaned up for you. Yeah, the inside hole needs a little help. Yeah. <laughs> a little scrubby dub dub. Welcome back, little duck. You must be hungry. Or are you just interested in what we're doing? No, you look hungry. Yeah, that's definitely... Yep. I didn't say I was gonna feed you. Not yet. Y'all can see all of the pollen floating on the water. It's still pretty bad. That's why I'm not gonna wash Vanny Hagar yet. Y'all can see behind me, it looks like we got a little storm coming. It might blow over and it might just turn into a little squall, but the wind definitely picked up. Okay, y'all, we have another turtle. Uh, we got robbed on everything except the one Plusino combo. Um, so I reeled everything in and I might start fishing again if I come out here to do any editing. It depends on if this weather holds off. It's a little cool, it's got a breeze, which I enjoy, but I'm not gonna do any editing in the rain. Both of the new crossbars are installed and I've got the old ones positioned where I want. So I think we're gonna call that a stopping point. 